G. Vector AB in terms of I and J. Find vector AB. Vector AB is equal to vector of the last minus vector of the first. So vector AB is going to be equal to OB minus OA. That's how we find vector AB. Vector AB is OB minus OA. What is OB? OB is 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4, and then we subtract vector A, where vector A is 3, 2, and so vector AB is equal to 2 minus 3, I think that's negative 1, and minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. All right, that's minus 1, minus 6, but they gave us the question in IJ form. So you want to write back your answer in IJ form. So you generally want to leave it then that AB is equal to minus I minus 6J. That's how we generally want to write it. AB is minus I minus 6J. That's how we want to write it. Next now it says find the magnitude of vector AB. So this is part one. So let's go ahead and find the magnitude of vector A. B. So to find the magnitude of vector A, B, the magnitude of vector A, B is equal to, this is how we write magnitude, by the way, modulus. So that's the magnitude of vector A, B. It is equal to the square root of the X component square, so negative one, being squared plus the y component square. So that's plus negative six square, negative six square. So that is now going to be 36 plus one is the square root of 37. That's vector A, that's the length of vector A, the square root of 37. If you like to write um, decimals, you can put the decimal which is roughly 6.1 units, if you like to write decimal. 6.1 units, that's the vector, the length of AB. Next thing it says now, the position vector of M that divides AB internally in the ratio one, two. So what does that mean? That means that this is what we have. If you're to draw some line, just draw some random line for part three, draw some random line, all right? It is telling us this is from A and you're going to B. And it tell you that A to M is in the ratio one to two. So if M is right here, so this is M, it is telling us that A, A it telling us then that MB is two times the distance AM. MB, AM, AM is a half of the distance MB. So now we just need to find vector, we need to just find vector M now. Now that's simple. There are many ways to go about doing it. Now I could start by saying that to go from A to B, you go from A to M, then from M to B. So we can write that. So we can write to go from A to M, to go from A to B, vector AB, we can write now that vector AB is equal to, vector AB is equal to, as we said, it's from A to M, and then from M to B, AM plus MB. We already know what vector, but then look at this, what is vector AM? Vector AM in terms of vector AB. Vector AM, remember this is twice this distance. This is two times this. Or some people might just wanna write now that 
vector a m is and so what we're getting is all right now let's look at part three part three says the position vector of m that divides a b internally in the ratio one two find the position vector of m so i would like to just draw a line and draw a line and this is a and then this is m and then this is b then what do we know we know that this distance is two times this distance if this a m is x then m to b is 2x so what can we therefore conclude we can conclude that maybe vector a m we can say something like vector a m that would be to go from vector a to vector m we'd be going vector a m to go from vector a m we can really say it is a b it is really a b minus b m right because as you can see right here vector a m is really or some people might just say vector a m is just one third of a b so let's go with that vector a m is one third as you can see this is one piece and this is two piece vector a m is one third vector a b that's what we work with that's an easy way to do it but then vector a m is o m minus o a that's vector a m o m minus o a and it's equal to one third vector a b and so all we have to do now to find vector OM or the position vector for OM. The position vector for OM is going to be equal to one third of AB plus OA. That will give you vector OM. So now let's go ahead and do that. So OM is one third AB plus OA. So one third of AB, this is AB by the way, so one third of AB is going to be one third of minus one, which is minus one over three. And then minus one third of six is minus two plus OA. And that is plus, what is that now? So we're adding vector A, this is three, two. This is three, two. And so what do we get? minus one third plus three so this is going to be om now i'm just going to put it in ij form so om is going to be minus one third plus three um three plus minus one third that's two and two thirds some people like to write it as eight over three i this is eight over three i then we have minus two plus two that is minus two minus two plus two is zero i believe minus two plus two yeah that's zero so om is just eight over three i that is position vector of m then finally it says determine if oa and ob are perpendicular Now these two vectors are perpendicular if they are, those two vectors are perpendicular if their dot product is zero. So let's check if their dot product is zero. So let's go to our white screen and check if the dot products are zero. So checking if the dot products are zero. All right, so that's OA and that's OB. Let's check it now. So now OA dot OB, this is OA dot OB, checking their dot product. If the dot product is zero, then they're perpendicular. So it's going to be three, two dot two minus four. Three, two dot two minus four. 
So that's going to be equal to three times two. That's going to be equal to three times two plus two times minus four. That's it, three times two is six, plus two times minus four is minus eight. That is six minus eight, and six minus eight is negative two, but negative two is not zero, and so OA, so A and B are not perpendicular. So we can write hence, they are not perpendicular. Another word for perpendicular is orthogonal. So we can add that to our, 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 our add that to our vocabulary, orthogonal. They're not orthogonal or we want to say perpendicular. Nice. They are not orthogonal vectors. Now, of course, we're gonna to have to verify our solution as usual. A was the point three, two. This is three, two. Let's label it. This is our point A. And then B was the point two minus four. Two minus four is down here. This is our point B. And then C was the point no C, then we wanted to find the magnitude of AB just to verify that the answer was 6.1. Let's check it out. Look at this, we're gonna find the magnitude of AB easily. So the magnitude of AB, let's connect them. This is vector AB, we're gonna find that magnitude. See it there, 6.1, this was exactly what we got. Yeah, let's check back our answer. See it here, we got AB was 6.1 units. So spot on right there, AB was 6.05, we're called to be 6.1 units. We're definitely good. Now we said that M, M had position vectors eight over three I. Let's check if that is true. Eight over three I. Oh, not right here. 8 over 3i. Eight over 3i. Eight over 3 is right here. So that's where it is. This is M. We're gonna label this point as M. Now remember it was such that AM is supposed to be equal to AM is supposed to equal to a half of MB. So let's check it out. Measure the distance AM. So this is AM. Now let's measure B, MB now. It's supposed to be twice that distance. Yep, yeah, twice that distance. This is twice that distance. And it's because I didn't put the point exact. So you'd realize that actually, it is actually twice the distance. It's just for me to get it in the right position. For B, having a difficult time to get it in the dead stamp center. Well, you realize it was supposed to be 4.02 because I don't want to get these, these perfect yet. Still working on getting them perfect, but it shows that this distance is twice this distance. And so M is therefore at this position. So our answer is verify, because now we can definitely see that from this, that AM is a half of MB. So our answer is correct. So this is indeed the position vector of M. Now to determine whether OA is perpendicular to OB, that's easy to show. So again, look at this. This would be OA now. This would be OA. 
and this would be OB. If they're perpendicular, then this angle supposed to be 90. This angle supposed to be 90. This angle right here supposed to be 90. But let's measure that angle and see what we get. If you measure this angle, zoom, zoom, zoom. If we measure that angle, I want to measure the angle, zoom, zoom, zoom. Measure angle. I get 96.862, which is not 90. So it is not perpendicular. All right. So OA is not perpendicular to OB. That verifies our solution. Nice. So now that we finish this, soft.